Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and I'm super excited to talk about the SQL group statement in today's video. So let's move ahead and explore about this group statement and get our hand dirty by writing some queries on it. So let's first understand what exactly is this group by statement. The group by statement groups the rows that have the same value into a summary row like you can find out the total number of customers or the sum of a particular column and this group by statement is often used with the aggregate function like count, max, minimum, sum and average to group the result set by one or more than one columns. So whenever you have to summarize your data with a particular column or with more than one column then you will use this group by statement. So let's take this example where we have this subscriber base table and if we run this query we will get the entire data set from this subscriber base table. And suppose you have to find out how many subscriber you have from a particular city then how you can do it. So the simple thing that you can do is that you can take the city name as a first column and then you have to take the count of a subscriber. To take the count of a subscriber you have to put the count function and you will put subscriber id. Subscriber id. And then if you run this particular query you will get city and the count of subscriber but a strange thing is that you get only one record and you have only one single city Adilabad and this is not the result set that you were expected right you want to have the list of entire cities that you have in your table and you want the entire count of subscriber from from those cities right so in a simpler word you just want to summarize the total number of subscriber based on the number of cities and to do that you just have to put a group by statement and then after group by you have to put the column name by which you want to group your summary stats so now if i just put semicolon and, and if i run this query you will have the list of all cities and the count of subscriber id in your result set now most often what happens is that when you get the summary stats in your output what you want is that either you want the data to be ordered by smaller to highest or in most of the cases you want it from the highest to the lowest right so what you can do is that once you have written group by a statement then you can put order by and you can put order by two right now this order by two means that you are asking your SQL to sort your result set by the count of subscriber ID. So now if I run this query, I'll get my entire result set ordered in ascending manner. Now if I have to put it into descending manner, then what I can do is that I can simply put DESC, which is a syntax for descending. And now if I run it, I will get my entire city list with their count of subscriber in descending order so this is how basically you use the group by a statement when you have to summarize the rows and most often this group by a statement is used with the count max min sum and average which is an aggregate function in sql now if you want to understand or learn more about sql then you can click on the right side of this video or if you want to learn about excel you can click on the left side of this video happy learning and see you in the next video Thank you.